Lovely. Hi, I'm Ray, and this is the Gardening Channel. Today, we've come down to the allotment, and it's the 3rd of January. It's a bitterly cold day out there today, quite a cold wind, so I'm staying in the tunnel, keeping the door shut. But today, we're going to do a review on Grow Your Own magazine. Normally, every month, we do Kitchen Garden along with Grow Your Own magazine, but today, I cannot find Kitchen Garden in any stores. I think I've been to about four Tesco's and even Asda. So none of them have them in stock and funny enough none of them have the space for it to go. So that's a bit of a mystery. But anyway, we're going to crack on and we've got Grow Your Own magazine. And now we're on February edition. So this was 5 99 and I know there's quite a few new allotment holders that have taken their allotments in November, December and now start of January and we have new new people here so hopefully this will be a guide. We've got 10 packs of seeds to sow now worth £40 and extra 2021 veg plot wall planner inside. As we can see on the back we have as well it says 2021 year planner so hopefully this is a bit better than the edition we had last month and there's no price to say how much it's worth so the front cover says start sowing get brilliant results even in clay soil we've got really clay soil here so that's a good bonus top of the crops grow tomatoes cauliflowers and garlic make your own simple and speedy plant pots that cost nothing so let's have a look inside so here we go is the magazine and here are our seeds so we got 10 packets of seeds did it say so we'll have a look at the seeds first. So the first one we got is parsnip, white gem, grows in any type of soil, a medium smooth skin roots of fine, fine flavour, good resistance to canker, and stores well for winter storage. This can be sown April, May, so that's quite handy for parsnips. Tomatoes, also craig. Flavour guide, juicy and flavoursome, early ripening, heavy crops, ideal for indoor and outdoor growing. And that can be sown under glass February, March, or directly sown March and April. And we get 60 seeds, exceptional flavour, and that's Elsa Craig. They look nice. And we got sweet pepper. This is sweet pepper, crunchy flesh and it's called Citrina, so these look nice, yellow and red, exceptional taste, great yield potential, great source of vitamin C, so these can be sown under glass, February, March, April, and harvest July to October, eight seeds, okay, let's be careful of those then. And also we've got leeks, and these are Bulgaris Rusen, Lincoln. So these are tender, full flavoured leeks, a late summer cropping, little risk of bolting and inbuilt disease resistance, and well, that would be very handy. So these can be sown from March, April, and harvested July through to October, and there's 40 seeds per packet. They look quite a long leak from the picture on there and we got aubergines this is Visburna 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 
Eyes are bare. Three. Anyway, these are long, cylindrical, glossy, purple skin fruits. No bitter taste, aftertaste, ideal for growing in a greenhouse. The leaves can be sown under glass January, February, March, and then harvested July through to October. So this is one seed that we can actually start now in the, in the greenhouse, possibly in the polytunnel. And we've got a herb, basil, sweet green. This can be sown from February to June, from August, July to October. Huge notes of mint and clove, large aroma leaves, juiced and neat bushy plants. So I've tried some basil and so far nothing on the basil farm. So maybe that's one we can try. And we've got some lettuce. This is Mazur. Outstanding, thicker textured leaves for the salad bowl. Top quality, long season picking. So these can be sown from March through to July, harvest July through to September. So they look quite nice. Recommend for successional sowing. So that's my New Year's resolution, is to do a lot more successional sowing. So that'd be great. And we've got some salad leaves. This is mesclun mixed. Adds new combinations to your salad. Quick growing, 40 days during summer months. Ideal for containers. So that's a handy one for containers on the patios. And this can also be started January, February, and even from October to February, and uh, harvested uh, all year round. So uh, outdoors, March to September. So we've got some salad leaves down the bottom here. My eyes have just gone super crazy and these, I don't think we'll be eating these. I'm sure a rabbit will probably like them. Now this is unusual. We've got squash, squash, Patterson gadget. This is a patty pan squash and it's a yellow. It's a green patty pan squash. I'll just show you one of mine. This is one of our patty pan squashes that we did this year, which we're quite pleased of. We only got two, but that's a bonus. So these are larger fruits, can be steamed, used in stir fries or stuffed or baked. This can be sown April and May, harvest July to September. So the last one we have, which is a really very unusual one, is tomatillo green. And this is perfect in salsas, sauces and guacamoles. Produces crinkled dark blue skin coloured leaves and highly productive crop with a long cutting period. Now I like this. This is something different. Compact and upright. And I like that. Somewhere a bit different. To 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 has a rich history dating back to the Aztecs. They're still prevalent in the Mexican cuisine today. Looks like a small green tomato covered in a thin paper-like husk. Tomato tomatillos are packed with citrus-like tang. Easy to grow from seed, but do require a good amount of space as they can reach up to, up to a metre in height and width. Hmm. I like the idea of that. don't know whether I would eat it, but I like the idea of growing them. So anyway, I'm really pleased with that. So that's the seeds for this month for Grow Your Own. So we've got a few, and a few that are useful, and a few that we will try. On the magazine, we've got strawberry plants, pack of six crowns. Charles Dowding and plan and boost your spring plot. Simple tricks to get your patch off to the best start. 25 amazing DIY tricks and uh, the vegging grudge growing guide inside. So let's have a look. So let's have a look at the calendar. This is the 2021 planner and this is from the Grow Your Own magazine. And as we can see, it shows the, 
The dates January through to June and what can be sown to February broad beans, March, April, May, harvest, May, June. So run the beans, April, May, June. Beetroot, March, carrots, February through to June. Run on the back, we've got from July to December. So that's quite interesting too and it's got the same board beans July and then sow again October November. It's the same list, board beans, beetroot, carrots, courgettes, garlic, leeks, lettuce, onions, parsnip peas, chilies, potatoes, pumpkins, radish, rhubarb, spinach, crisscharred, broccoli, sprouts, cabbage, kale, sweet, turnip, apples, black currants, blueberries, pears, plums, raspberries, red currants, strawberries and tomatoes. Tells you all of those up and the guide, so that's quite useful. And a couple of adverts too. So that might mm, fit up on my shelf. If not, it will go into the shed, and that's quite handy. So I hope you find that interesting. And if you're new to my channel, then please subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications when I post some more. So. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers for now.